historical figures who had the drip. First up is Marcus Tullius Cicero, a Roman statesman and also one of the most influential sources on the Latin language. This man had the toga drip. In this famous historical painting, we see the Senator Catiline sitting alone on the right because he's ashamed of how little swag he has compared to Cicero, who's standing on the left. Next up is Yasuke, who had so much drip they made an anime about him. These two images of him are from the anime because I couldn't find a contemporary image that wasn't kind of racist. Yasuke was one of the first black samurai in Japan and had so much drip that Oda Nobunaga noticed him and made him one of his right-hand men. Next is the famous chemist Marie Curie. As you can see in this picture, she is performing an experiment, most likely regarding radioactive drip. That's right, if she is around all this radioactive drip, she will also have drip. Next is, uh, Qin Shi Huang Di. He had so much drip, he was the first person to unite China. Just look at that hat. That hat is almost as effective as the Great Wall of China at the fence. And it certainly looks cooler. When he died, he had so much leftover drip, they had to make a terracotta army of 10,000 fake soldiers so they could house all of the extra swag he left behind. Next is Attila the Hun, also known as the 5th century gangster. He already looks cool in this picture, but this picture does not give him justice. Look at this one. This is even cooler. This man is a threat to Western civilization. This man is a beast. This man has drip. This man's nose had so much drip that he died. What a way to go. Next is Mansa Musa, the emperor of Mali and the richest person in world history. That's already enough to have some drip, but he also was very philanthropic and donated billions worth of modern currency to the poor people of Northern Africa and the Middle East so that they could buy their own drip. What a charitable fellow he was. Next is Leif Erikson, the Icelandic explorer who on top of discovering Canada had so much swag and so much drip they made this statue out of him. This statue immortalizes the drip of Leif Erikson. Last in this video is the French revolutionary Jean-Paul Marat. This man has the drip.